Here's some key factors to consider when managing your condition. So let's say you have some shoulder pain and then your shoulder pain changes when you move your posture, like it gets better or worse when you're sitting or you're standing. You are way more likely to have a spinal component. Let's say you have a movement loss of your neck. Again, you're more likely to have a spinal component affecting the shoulder. Let's say your shoulder movement is full, pain-free, but you still have this aching pain. Again, you're more likely to have a spinal component. And let's say you're having some numbness, paresthesias, which is just changes in your sensation. Again, you are more likely to have a spinal component. Get your spine checked if you can't figure out why your shoulder, elbow, hip, or knee continue to hurt.